Time for a new golf bag. It's in here. Quick video, give you initial quality review and unboxing of this golf bag by Vice. Now, most of you probably heard of Vice Golf. They're known for their direct to consumer golf balls. But what I realized recently is Walmart is now carrying Vice. So they're carrying the balls in the store and online, of course. The other thing they're carrying online is golf bags by Vice. So let's see what we have here. This is their cart bag. And it's $150 through Walmart, which is significantly less than if you go on the Vice website. So I saw that on there. And, uh, you know, obviously Walmart is not known for having real high quality products. But I thought I'd take a chance on this. And taking it out of the bag here, I'm surprised uh, how lightweight this is. It has these nice handles up on top, which I was very impressed with. Um, and overall, it looks pretty good. So golf bags have come a long ways in recent years, looking a little better, a little more stylish um, versus what they did 20, 30 years ago. And in particular, I think Vice does a good job on this. It comes in this black. In lime green, neon green, um, or a, a black and gray. Obviously, it comes with all your standard pockets. There's not very good description. A cooler compartment. It's lined with some, uh, not a lot of insulation. Maybe a little insulation there, but it's kind of a gray waterproof material. There's no drain in it, so I'm assuming you'd have to, to dump it out, which if your clubs are in there, that's a little bit awkward, but... Anyway, uh, I'm assuming that's what it's for. You have to use some cold packs instead of ice. Now we've got a large pocket down here that could be for shoes. Let's see if uh, we can fit our shoes in there. Let's see if we can fit these uh, bad boys in there. Eh, fail. That's probably plenty big enough to put the old shoes in. Can we zip it up? Yeah, it zips up pretty good. Yeah, that works. The description is a little vague on the website. I don't know if it comes with a rain hood, but in this pocket, there is something in there. So let's see. Yep. So we've got a rain hood. Seems pretty decent quality. Waterproof material. Kind of a nice pattern on it. I don't intend to play in the rain too much, but it's always nice to have that just in case. Our overall seems quite good quality. The zippers and everything for the $150, that was a little bit worried it wasn't going to be that high of quality, but so far so good. Let's put some clubs in it and see how that goes. I got everything that I carry in there very easily. Um, my putter's not in here, but I'm going to use this divider space for my putter. It's inside for winter practice, um, but you can see the dividers are very nice. Here I have the vintage Sun Mountain Speed Cart. Let's throw this thing on. See how that looks. Fits on there pretty good. This is a little tricky getting it in there. I'm not going to be able to put it through this pocket the way this hook works. Now, the way this strap pocket works won't work for a, a pull cart that's more designed. For a golf cart, the strap will go through this side, come out this side, and then attach to your cart. So it won't work for that, but... You don't even really have to, it sits pretty good on here, you don't even have to really strap it in. But, if we want to, we could throw it up here. That works pretty good. Easily secure it there. Alright, that's a pass. The only thing now, I put my driver on this side because it was the high side, but now that you tip it back this way, this is the high side. So I probably need to rearrange all my clubs here. All right, I don't know if I'm settled on that, but I've got my 
long irons over here, my mid irons in the middle, my wedges on the right, and I suppose maybe my putter up here. I still have to build out the top of my bag. I'm probably going to add another fairway wood. Um, so I'll have a spot there. But overall, this thing's pretty sweet. It's not too heavy on the card here. That's awesome. So what is the verdict on the Vice Bay? I say uh, two thumbs up for me. I don't regret purchasing it at all. If we look at the name brand alternatives from Ping, they're probably the most expensive. Similar bag goes for about two fifty. Callaway, Taylor Made, you can probably get two twenty five, two ten. This was one fifty. Um, saved seventy five hundred dollars. Not a bad deal. Plus, I think it looks better than a lot of those. So it's a win win. I say head over to Walmart.com, order yourself one of these before they come to their senses and jack the price up because it's a pretty good deal. Well, I'll put up here how much it is on the Vice website, but you get a pretty steep discount going to walmart.com. It's the same bag, pretty sweet, good deal. Hopefully the quality does not decline now that they're kind of partnered with Walmart. Hopefully it doesn't, but we'll see. I think this is one of the early ones. Uh, they're taking their regular bag and putting it in Walmart, trying to get their foot in the door, so it's still high quality, but at the low price. Hopefully that continues. Thanks for watching. Adios.